Hello, YouTube land, and welcome to another edition of the Crypto Mama Mia, formerly known as the Middle Age Mom Does Crypto. Well, I hope you guys are doing well and staying safe, staying healthy, staying sane. And I'm coming at you today with a little bit of a different kind of video. As you guys know, I do like to interact with my Crypto Mama Mia community. So I got a comment on one of the videos I made on August 14. Um, it was from Max Alfie 05. He was asking me, um, he or she was asking me that, you know, what is the best website to buy BTC from with no ID required and low fees? So I did a little bit of digging, tried to go look for the best article with the best information that I could find. And so I came up with this one. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and link or leave the link to this article um, underneath this current video so that you can go and you can go check it out yourself. And it has like uh, links that you can click on yourself so that you can go directly to the website. And yeah, I just I really enjoy when you guys leave me comments and have questions. And so I really want to try to help out. And of course, by helping out, I'm not trying to give you financial advice. I'm not trying to give you advice to do anything that you don't want to do, right? I'm just a vlogger. I'm just trying to share info that, you know, is available on the web, the World Wide Web, on the internet. So I just, you know, take the extra step and maybe look it up for you guys so that that way all you have to do is watch this video and click on the links, right? <laughs> In fact, you know, because I'm not into many platforms right now or, um, hypes or anything like that, I am going to start making some videos on other ways you can make money with your crypto, as well as trying to even just save yourselves fees. Or if you have questions like Max Alfie, answer those questions through my videos, because I am, after all, the crypto mama mia. I am everything crypto, or at least I'd like to think so. I've, I've been really enjoying crypto, especially, especially now, guys. Did you see, sorry to get off topic, but did you see the, uh, did you see the latest price for Bitcoin? Oh my gosh. <laughs> and this is something that I've learned from um, the Oracle. You know, he talks about looking at certain factors and one of those factors is the stock market. So I was looking at something that he talks about in his Discord and in some of his videos regarding the stock market and I followed that and guess what guys I made a killing on the trade I did I made a hundred percent that's I think that's the first well maybe like one of a few times that I made over a hundred percent in a trade so that was awesome but anyways look at the price oh my gosh it's over 12,300 now it's ridiculously crazy so yeah, um, no, Miriam, I don't need your help today. Thank you. Let me just close her out. Okay, so there you go. So with that being said, I know a lot of you guys are wanting to buy some Bitcoin. And you know, you know the methods I use like Cash App and things like that. You know, a lot of those need KYC because I am in the US and I do report anything that I do with Bitcoin to my tax guy. That's right, guys. I am also not just your, fi not your financial advisor. I am not your financial advisor. I am also not your tax advisor. In fact, I have a tax guy because I am not as smart when it comes to taxes, right? I don't know. I don't have a accounting degree or a CPA certification or anything like that so i'm not gonna chance it i'm gonna give all my info to him and make sure he takes care of it correctly and there you go so if you are in the u.s again please go consult a tax advisor as far as if especially if you're making profits etc and if you're not in the u.s just make sure you're following your own country's tax laws etc so there you go guys so buying Bitcoin with no ID. So you can actually do a lot of peer-to-peer -peer type marketplace um, purchases. So one is local Bitcoins. Um, I'm not too sure what their fee is, but let's go ahead and, you know, I think actually this one, uh, everybody sets their own fee. So like if you're buying from somebody, then, you know, you can go ahead and agree to their rates or not agree to their rates. So the pros are local Bitcoins is private. Um, and in some countries, it's the only way to buy Bitcoins. And it 
allows you to buy with many different payment methods. But there are also scams and you need to be careful. So that's a, that's a con. But remember, guys, everything, you just really got to make sure you do your own research. And, you know, hopefully you don't get conned by the people on here, right? And there's no buying or selling limits imposed. So that's pretty awesome. And local Bitcoins is pretty much uh, available in every country. Um, except for New York and Germany, apparently. <laughs> Okay, and yeah, so, okay, so if you do buy a certain amount, so I'm guessing if you buy a big chunk, then they might make you um, do KYC, but otherwise, if you're only buying small chunks or small pieces, because remember, guys, you can buy, like on Cash App, you can buy as little as a dollar's worth of BTC or Bitcoin, <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah. So yeah, you can go ahead and you can read their info in here. And it's one of the oldest Bitcoin exchanges. In fact, I think I remember hearing about this local Bitcoins even when I first started to hear about Bitcoin. And I did, remember I did that BitConnect and USI back in, I think that was 2017. So I do remember hearing about local Bitcoins even back then, right? Oh, and, and local Bitcoins only uh, does a flat fee of 1% fee on all the trades. Yeah, but it may get inflated depending on your payment method. So there you go, guys. That's that one. That's local Bitcoin. So, so far, 1%. Uh, you can use different payment methods. So, yeah, you may want to check that out. Let's see. The next one here, we have BitQuick. So you can actually buy Bitcoin via cash deposits. Wow. Um, this one is looking like it's for banks across the U.S. So let's take a look at this. Okay, so BitQuick does charge 2% per buy. But the exchange rates are generally, be generally better than local Bitcoins. So there you go. So 2% but exchange rates may be lower. So in the end, you might actually make out uh, with less fees on BitQuick. So let's, let's see. Yeah. So then you can enter the amount you want to spend in dollars, which is actually pretty good for a lot of people who, you know, sometimes you can't compute the decimal point, especially if you're only buying fractions of Bitcoin. So that might be good as well. And you can you can use these banks apparently if you're in the US. Huh. All right, so that's bit quick. There's bitit.gift. And this one is mainly if you're in Europe. Yes, in fact, it is only for if you're in Europe. So Okay, but this one does actually make you fill out some details, but I don't think it actually makes you, you know, like how for some um, exchanges, like for example, Cash App, I did have to send in my ID to verify who I am and my address, etc. This one you can buy 25 euros worth without any ID verification. But after that, I think you do. Oh, after that, you may have to actually put in your ID. So there you go. And a Bitcoin ATM, guys. I actually did try to use a Bitcoin ATM because there was one in my area. Um, it's actually not too bad. So, but the thing is, I know Bitcoin ATMs do have higher ex like uh, fees and stuff like that. So it may actually be better off going with local Bitcoins or um, the other one, BitQuick, if you're in the U.S. with the with the U.S. banks. Oh, I'm sorry, Wall of Coins. How can I miss that one? Wall of Coins, um, this is another one, and you only need a SMS verification required. So I'm guessing they send like you, they send you a text, and then you just have to um, put in the code that's in the text. And this one, it's available in the US, UK, Canada, Ger Germany, Argentina, Latvia, Poland, and the Philippines. So a phone number is required for use, but not for ver verification purposes, and no ID is required. So it doesn't talk about the 
um, fees, but let's take a quick look. Oh, it went to Coinbase. I think I clicked the wrong thing. I'm so sorry. Here we go, wall of coins. Oh. Okay, it brought me to this one again, but but yeah, you just like see even in this article, it talks about how does this fee compare to other similar exchanges. Now the average fee for credit card buys are about 4%. Bank transfer buying fees are usually 1 to 1 1.5% and cash fees are usually 1%. But there is that big premium and that's like especially like uh, the ATM, the Bitcoin ATM. Remember, I did use that one time just to give it a try. And yeah, the um the fees are pretty high. So I would make this one the last option if possible. So it's looking like, let's see here. Yeah, it's looking like for me, if I had to do it with no ID to buy Bitcoins, I would try to probably look at local Bitcoins first and then Bitquick because you can buy with cash. Because I don't know what the fee is for the wall of coins. So yeah, I'm always trying to find things um, to help you guys out, especially if you guys are wanting to hold or go into platforms, etc. So I'm actually going to make uh, videos on the different ways to also sell because look at this, guys. <laughs> you have to take profit. I mean, look at it. It's ridiculous right now, the price. And, you know, it may just keep going up and up. I think it may also be due to the fact that and it, you know this is just my opinion of course not financial advice guys remember that not financial advice the u.s actually is talking about doing a fed digital dollar right so making their own cryptocurrency um, instead of having the dollar so you know when there's news like that or like when there's things happening in the stock market i think the price of bitcoin takes that all into account so you need to take that all into account now if you're not already following the oracle guys i'm telling you he comes up with some of the best nuggets of info ever and he has his own own network <laughs> he calls it his omax network you know he's trying to compete with oprah so there you go guys i would say if you're not already um you know subscribe to at least one of his channels then go ahead i i usually live leave links to his trading channels because i do do trading but um you know if you just click on one of the channels the trading channels he'll have like and, and you click on a video he'll have his whole omax network underneath in the description so you can subscribe to all of them guys but man he, really just even learning from him i think will be very profitable for you if you already are not right so anyways guys i hope that was helpful um tomorrow i'll be taking a look at other ways to um especially if you're hodling maybe make some interest off your crypto you know instead of just um putting them into platforms or hypes or trading you know if you're just one of those especially if you're new then maybe that may be your best bet to just hold and take profits so yeah i'm gonna do a video on that one and see how that goes but anyways thank you again guys for leaving comments i really do appreciate it i really do am so grateful i really am so grateful that you are part of my crypto mama mia community and speaking of that guys i am so inching closer to it's like snail's plate pace right now but i'm inching slowly closer to that but i do want to give away some bitcoin and man wouldn't it be a good time to give away some bitcoin as the price seems to keep going up and up i mean look at this look at this sharp rise up right here <laughs> even even with ethereum i mean you know ethereum's a little bit slower but it, look at bitcoin oh my god so it, yeah if you're not taking out uh, some profits right now what's wrong with you <laughs> take some profits at least and then um leave you know whatever you want in there you know you should do at least take a look at the core compounding videos that the oracle makes if you are just gonna hold because you can do that as well it's no risk right because it, you're in control at all times you can withdraw at any time right if you're just holding in something like a cash app or 
whatever the, in your wallet or whatever the case may be right so anyways guys if you have any other ideas or like questions for me to talk about like how mr or miss max alfie asked about this then yeah leave me a comment and i will try to go and dig into the internet for you guys and help you guys out so i will leave the link to this article under my video and again thanks again guys um please do leave me a like i do appreciate all the likes and all the subscriptions i i am seeing new subscribers every day so thank you guys if you're new welcome please share my channel especially if you want me to give away more btc and i will be doing that as soon as i hit a thousand subs and anyways guys thank you again for stopping by stay safe stay healthy stay sane and I will see you at the next video. Adios.